I end up failing that test, y'all. I missed five questions. <laughs> posting lately and i have not told y'all what's going on in my life but y'all gonna see this after i graduate so i'm gonna go ahead and start the vlog i'm currently in vegas for a flight attendant training y'all so i'm out here chilling i got here yesterday today is december the third so yeah training starts on monday december the 5th so right now i'm just out here chilling you know getting acclimated trying to build a routine i went to the gym now i'm just chilling by the pool so right now um, i met a friend her name is chris hey girl so yeah y'all probably see her because she really wants me to vlog this whole process and i'm gonna do it i told her i was gonna do it so i'm gonna do it i'm just chilling for right now i should have picked up the camera and started vlogging yesterday because i did a lot i walked the strip i was doing a little sightseeing we went out to eat I tried in and out for the first time. Actually, I still got some in my room, so I'm gonna find the microwave and warm it up a little later, cause I'm hungry. But yeah, I'm a little nervous for this process. We do have to pass tests and drills and stuff like that. So I'm probably gonna go warm my food up and then study a little bit. That's what I've really been doing. That's why I haven't been picking up the camera. Just getting prepared for this process. YouTube is about to go up. I am definitely going to incorporate my flight attendant life in my YouTube channel now. So it's going to be like true life of a flight attendant, flight attendant vlog, stuff like that. I hope y'all ready to travel the world because y'all know I was searching for my purpose and I found it. I love, I love this so far. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, I just wanted to come tell y'all what was going on and introduce y'all to a flight attendant life so far but yeah i'm pretty sure i hit chris up in a little bit we're actually um next door neighbors in our hotel so yeah and i met her at the airport we was on the same flight and she from atlanta as well so that's pretty cool you know i don't know where i'll be based at yet hopefully it's atlanta because that's what they told us but you just never know so i'm not banking on it but yeah hope y'all are ready for this journey this is going to be um training week one but of course this december y'all will not see any of these vlogs until i am completely finished with training so i call y'all back in a little while when i'm doing something else i'm really just chilling by the pool soaking everything in taking a breather and you know enjoying the space that i'm in right now because y'all know I spent majority of this year in the house meditating, manifesting, trying to figure out what I want to do. And I landed here. So I'm not going to say what company I work for just yet. Pretty sure when I get my uniform and stuff like that, y'all will see. But yeah, y'all, we're on a new journey. I hope y'all excited because I am. But I call y'all back. Hey y'all, so I went to Walmart. I don't know why I didn't record me and Chris going to Walmart, but yeah, I went to Walmart. Now I'm about to give y'all a room tour. So this is the bathroom. So as you come in, we have this mirror, which is ridiculously close. Like, <laughs> yeah, you have the mirror on the wall two pendant lights full length well it's not full length but you know wide mirror fully equipped we only have housekeeping come once a week which is on tuesday so of course i'm not about to live in no mess so i got some cleaning supplies for the bathroom blow dryer tissue towels the toilet the shower, they're gonna have to come clean the shower because it's not up to my standards, but that's just me. Then when you come this way, 
You are greeted by a closet. And we do have roommates. So I think I was fair. I took one side of the closet and I split it. It's 10 hangers, so I gave her five. I took five. I put all of my stuff on this side. And then you walk into the room. So this is my roommate's bed. She doesn't get here until tomorrow, which is Sunday, December 4th. Um, we have a desk, a desk chair. I like how it comes equipped with the USB chargers. So I can just plug it in if I want to study right here. Got a little view, but not for real, for real. But yeah. So this is the room, y'all. I'm using this time as self-care. Get right. I'm trying to be the baddest flight attendant on a plane. <laughs> Period. So I'm getting on it. Okay? Because it's not a lot of flight attendant videos and stuff on YouTube. So I want to give y'all something from my perspective. What's going on in my training. I'm going to tell you guys as much as I can without giving away too much information or anything like that. Um, this is going to be a very stressful situation for me. So I'm just taking the time to woosa, relax, get my mind together so I can go ahead and get my wings. But yeah, y'all, I'll go ahead and hit y'all up later when I'm actually doing something. I may go back on the strip today. I don't know. Like I said, if I do, it'll be to go get some sushi or something because that's really what I want, some sushi. So yeah. Back. Hi guys, welcome to a new vlog. It's training day one. It is currently 5.45 in the morning. It's December the 5th. I'm tired, as y'all can tell. Well, I'm not really tired because I went to sleep at like 7.45 last night. No, no lie. I was up at 2.50 a.m. yesterday and I literally stayed up until like... I went to sleep so yeah i got a good night's rest my roommate's here she's cool or whatever um she's taking care of her business but yeah class starts at seven i'm going to be downstairs by 6 35 just so i can be on time because i don't got time to be getting no situationals for tardiness in classes downstairs you know what i'm saying like that's pointless but yeah i'm about to show y'all what i gotta put on okay y'all so this is my outfit got my lemon pepper stepping on and i have to have stockings on so i got my stockings on got these really cute dress pants got them from marshall's i like them because it has like hold on I like it because it has like a um, a sweat pant band on it, but they dress pants. So yeah, I have this this tank top. It's designer, but I got it from um, Goodwill for like six dollars. Period. Um, then I have this cardigan on this black cardigan. I got this from Goodwill as well. Yeah, y'all. So that's my outfit of the day. Have to carry this bag. Well, I don't have to, but, you know, looking very professional. But, yeah, I'm about to go ahead and go downstairs and go to class because we have to be downstairs by 6.30. So, yeah, y'all, I'm class ready, as you can tell. I'm going to leave my phone upstairs. Actually, I'm not going to take it downstairs so y'all won't see any, like, action because I don't want my phone to go off. No mishaps. I'm not trying to get any situationals and get kicked out of training. So, I'll leave y'all here. And then, I'll update y'all on like a break or something. Call y'all back. Hey, y'all. So, I'm in the middle of day one of training. I'm on my lunch break. It's like 1130. I have to be back at like 1210. But as y'all see, I had to put my hair in a ponytail because it's a part of compliance. So, I'm going to take my shoe off. So yeah, um, if you have waist length braids, you know, black girls, we don't do the mid length or whatever. That's grandma. <laughs> but if you have waist length braids, 
and you definitely need to have a bun and my head is heavy it feels like it's gonna tip over but you gotta do what you gotta do and make sure you have your stockings if you have any visible tattoos y'all know i have my wrist tattoo so what i did was because you can't cover it up with makeup or band-aid i'm out of breath band-aid makeup none of that so in order to be in compliance i have a t-shirt up under my stuff they'll never know but you know yeah um no flats get you some lemon pepper staples if push come to shove be on time be early be early so like they said we have to be back at 12 10 so i'll probably be back at 12 o'clock we learned a little bit today's basically y'all know introduction day uniforms today we're ordering our uniforms uh, we are the first training class I'm in class 1922. We got the first training class that gets to have a uniform session, which means we can try on the uniform so you can make sure they fit. Y'all know I'm a thick girl, so I'm glad they got that. They do have tall options for your uniform. I'm kind of tall, so I will be getting the tall option as well. So yeah, you can make sure your uniform fits and our uniforms will be back before graduation. So that's really what we did so far. We just went over the handbook. They check your uniforms every day. So make sure you are in compliance. Also, flashlights. You need a miniature flashlight, but don't get the... I think I got mine. Because I don't have to take it back to class. But don't get these. These are not the flashlights that you need to have. Everybody in my class had these. Um, so they're giving us time to go get one. You need like a little flat one or one that looks like a flash drive if you have that you should be fine um because it has to go on your lanyard so yeah we got our lanyards this is just the training one this is not the official so yeah y'all so that's just what we did today so far the rest of the class they said it's gonna be fun class today is from seven to six the last two hours are basically like your training session or whatever. Mine is at 505, not training session, uniform session. And it's only a 10 minute block, so I don't know what we're gonna be doing. But yeah, class is from 76 today, y'all. I'm about to go meet one of my classmates downstairs. Um, so yeah. Okay, y'all, I got a whisper. I'm not supposed to be doing this. <laughs> I'm trying my uniform on to get my size right. Yeah, I'm trying to get out. My arm is too short. The pants. Booty is booty. All right. Yeah. after doing my uniform fitting. I'm about to go get me something to eat. I'll show y'all what I got on. My shirt is wrinkled, FYI. But I got these sweatpants from Shein. My trench coat. I think it's Pretty Little Thing, I think. And then I also got this shirt from Pretty Little Thing last year. My brown Tefar bag. And then I got some new balance to go on. But yeah, I'm about to walk and get me something to eat. I'm starving. I've only been snacking all day and I still have to do homework. I have to read three chapters and do my homework and study for my test on Wednesday. So yeah, I'm about to walk and get me something to eat. I'm gonna meet up with Chris later so we can study and do our homework together. She went to that. Oh, I don't even think I told y'all. I went and got me a sushi burrito the other day. I answered the picture of it, but I talked it up. <laughs> so my girl went to go. Um, she went to go. I'm trying to find my hotel key. She went to go get her burrito. I don't blame her because that burrito was busting. 
long shoot, long shoot, long shoot. Where's my monkey? Gotcha. All right, y'all. All right. I'm about to put my headphones in, tune out. I don't know what I'm about to eat, but I'm just about to walk and figure it out and come back because it's been a, a long day. Me and my roommate are never in the room at the same time. If y'all trying to figure out why I never show her. Yeah. Bye. Okay, y'all. I'm outside. Trying to find me something to eat. I don't know what I'm wanting. Oh. They have some good hot dogs. I don't know, y'all. I don't know what I want to eat. I know it ain't in and out. And I had that sushi burrito the other day. So, I'm about to figure it out. That's a Mexican food. Got a candy shop. You ever been so hungry that you can't think? That's me. That's me, that's me. I'm so hungry, I can't even focus. morning y'all it is day three i didn't record anything on day two um i was so tired i was really like jet lag and everything just like <laughs> kind of crashed it down like your girl yesterday but yeah yesterday was test review day and we um learned about like the positions on the plane and stuff like that but today is day three it is test day today um so i'm taking my first test over military time terminology and the basis i feel like i got it in the bag um in order to pass your test you do have to have 90 percent or better if you um don't you have a retake and then if you don't pass the retake then you're sent home but this is the first test, so it's gonna be easy. We've had the study material since we got hired, so I mean, I feel pretty confident about it. My roommate keeps talking about me because I am a studier, like, I have to study. So, yeah, um, yeah, so right now it's 6 30. My class starts at 7 a.m. I've been up, I've been really like productive these few days about getting up and stuff like that so yeah i just i'm on the second floor of my hotel and i'm just sitting here like eating breakfast i went over my notes or whatever just to do a little refresher did my homework because i was so tired yesterday y'all um we had to read so i read the chapter that we was supposed to read and then i skimmed over the homework and i just completed it this morning i'm about to head to starbucks get me like a tea or something yeah, because I don't want to overstudy or anything like that. But I just wanted to come check in since it's day three of training. And I didn't record anything for day two. I was, your girl was slumped. After class, I got in the bed. Do you hear me? But yeah, I'm just about to, you know, pack my stuff up. I have my work bag. And I'm fully dressed. Get ready to go. So yeah, y'all, I'm about to head downstairs. And <laughs> I'm about to head downstairs and um go to Starbucks, give me some drink and then go to class. Am I ready for my test? Yes, I am. Am I nervous? Yes, I am. I just this is the first test, so I'm not sure how it's gonna go, like the format or whatever, but I'm pretty sure. I'm a smart girl, I got it in the bag. So I'll come back and let y'all know um after class if I pass the test or not. So drum roll. <laughs> Drum roll. When I come back, y'all know. So, it is later on. We was in class all day. But I did pass my test. I did pass my test. But we didn't see the spells. About to go to the buffet and get something to eat. Yes. I'm about to chow down. Hey y'all, um, 
Um, I think it's day four of training. I don't even have the energy to act like. I don't have the energy. I don't even know what I was about to say. <laughs> I'm tired. I'm in the bed. I'm chowing down on me some ramen. It's good. I'm, when I tell y'all, I'm so tired. Last night, I stayed up to be social. I chilled with um, Christine yesterday. And we was just, like, talking, ch chopping it up. Talking about the differences in our classes and, like, going over the test or whatever. And she passed, too. We both got hundreds. So, um, yeah, we have another test. Test number two tomorrow. But when I tell y'all, after class, I came in here put my pajamas on and got in the bed. Y'all see, I still have my hair in a bun. That's how tired I am. I don't even have the energy to take the bun out. <laughs> I don't even have the energy to take the bun out. I'm tired. I think I got five hours of sleep last night. I can't do that here. I'm already jet lagged. Okay, I'm already jet lagged. But I had to drink two Red Bulls today in class. <laughs> to stay up, it wasn't a long, it wasn't, the lesson wasn't bad. It's just cold in there. And the time, I literally have to be sitting in my seat in class at 7 a.m. Right. And we have homework, we have readings, and we have tests. So we have drills, we got to study equipment, all kind of tests and stuff like that. So it's a lot. I mean, it's condensed into four weeks, so it's a lot. But yeah, um, I'm just really chilling for right now. I'm going to eat. I don't think I'm going to take me a nap, and then I'm going to get up and study. Um, I don't know if I got homework. I got to, oh, I got to read. I got to read. So, I'm going to study for tomorrow's test. I'm going to read. And then I'm going to go to bed. Because, go back to bed. Because, like I said, I'm going to take a nap. But, y'all, this process is tedious. It's long. But, I'm enjoying the information. Like, I really feel like I'm learning. So, I ain't even looking. <laughs> but, I really feel like I'm learning, like, learning and i'm understanding it and i'm still enjoying it you know what i'm saying so yeah we have test number two tomorrow um i think i'm ready but of course i need to refresh read my notes from class today and then take my test but y'all i'm sorry that i'm so low energy i'm exhausted like, when I came in here, me and my roommate came up at the same time. And she was like, I know you're not putting on your pajamas. Because normally, I just change my clothes, go get something to eat. But no, I said, I'm getting in the bed. I'm getting in the bed. So, yeah, I just wanted to come check in with y'all because it just be so much going on to the point where I really don't have my phone out all day. Because we can't have our phones. So, my phone is either turned off all day or it's up here in the room. So, it's kind of hard for me to vlog. And I really can't give y'all the information that we are going over. Because, of course, it's secret information and stuff like that. So, I can't really talk about it. But, yeah. So, that's why I really be, like, talking to y'all in the mornings or when I'm studying and stuff like that. But... I hope all my classmates pass. We have lost a couple people. Some people had to self-release, go home, and yeah, if you don't pass your test, you got to go. You do get a couple chances to retake your test, but if you don't pass it after your first retake, well, you only get one retake. If you don't pass the retake, you have to go home. So, we you losing people to that, but yeah, I hope everybody pays their test tomorrow because I really like my classmates. Were the ones I've spoken to and had conversations with. So, yeah, y'all. I keep talking about so, yeah, y'all. That's how tired I am, y'all. I keep saying I'm tired, but I'm tired. Like, my brother called me and checked on me today. And he was like, I'm going to hang up <laughs> and let you rest. Because you look like you sleepy. I am. I am. So, I'm about to finish my ramen and I'm going to bed. I'm going to talk to y'all tomorrow. Tomorrow's day five. Day five. It feels like I've been in Vegas for two weeks. 
but it literally tomorrow it'll be a week so yeah y'all i'll call y'all back tomorrow and let y'all know if i pass my test i'm gonna pass so i'll let y'all know when i pass the test hey y'all it's day four i took my test this morning i passed it i passed it with a 97.5 I'm mad at that because I missed one question and I knew the answer to the question, but I second guessed myself. Crazy, right? And what's funny about my hair, the first thing my instructor said was, when you start off, your ponytail is going to be all nice and neat. And then as time goes by, it's just going to start leaning. Y'all, my ponytail leaning already. <laughs> I'm tired. I can't wait for our first day off. This week, our first day off is on Sunday. It is Friday, so I've officially been in Vegas for a week. But training week one doesn't end until tomorrow. Um, every day is not going to be, I mean, every week is not a weekend um, day off. They treat it as if we are online. You know, when you're flight attendant, you don't have designated days off. Your day off could be on a Monday. Your day off could be on a Wednesday. Um, so they are treating training as if we are, you know, already flight attendants. So our days off are weird. Um, but our first day off is on Sunday. I cannot wait. I cannot wait. I want to sleep in so bad, y'all. My sleep schedule is, oh, one of my classmates hits me. My sleep schedule is toe up. It's toe up, y'all. And it'd be a struggle to get up. And then we can't wear coats. Um, that's not a black or yellow. So I need to go buy me a coat because I be in class freezing. Y'all, they have that classroom so cold. It's unbearable. And if you go to sleep, you automatically put out. So I be sitting there shaking and, you know, rubbing myself, fidgeting around. Um, you can get up or whatever, but I don't want to get up in class. I want to just, you know, stay in my seat, pay attention. So I'm going to do what I got to do, which is go buy me a coat that's black okay because i don't want no i don't want no yellow coat i'm gonna get me a black one but yeah i just came to tell y'all that i passed my test today and i'm on my lunch break y'all i've been my, in my foodie bag let me tell you i've been trying all kind of stuff and everything i've had so far has been good last night i had ramen so let me clear it up. The ramen broth wasn't that good from this place that I got, but um, Chris said the place she got was really good. So I might try the place that she went to. Ooh. I might try the place that she went to another day. But I had some um, soup dumplings and kimchi fried rice. Y'all still, I'm chomping down on my kimchi fried rice right now, but it's so good. Like, it's so good. But yeah, um, I'm just on my lunch break. I have to be back at 12.33. It's 12.16. So I'm going to eat my food and I'm going to check in with y'all later. Y'all, I hit my capacity. It's at the point where I don't know if my brain can keep taking all this information in. <laughs> but somehow it is. Somehow it is. I gotta learn equipment. And y'all, I think that's where I'm gonna really have to like get on my grind, steady. Not that I haven't been, because I passed my first two tests. Um, I'm pissed because I missed that one question on the test and I got a 97.5. I told my brother that and he was laughing because he said I'm such an overachiever and he is absolutely correct. That's not good enough for me. So my next test is on Monday, the 12th, December the 12th. So um, I'm definitely going to study this weekend. It's Friday. I do have class in the morning. So I'm going to study. Um, so I can make a hundred because that 97.5 really was like gut wrenching to me because I knew the answer and I second guessed myself. So I would have made a hundred and I don't want to make any more of those mistakes. So you get three retakes and I haven't used a retake yet. Hopefully I don't have to use one Monday. But yeah, it's, it's getting up there. 
everybody that claimed that they didn't have to study, you know what I'm talking about, they need to study. And little Miss Nerd, <laughs> I've been studying, so I'm going to keep it up. I was able to finally order my uniforms today. I finally got my um, employee ID number for some reason. I was the only one in my class who didn't have a employee ID number. So they have been doing stuff that I haven't been able to do. And I don't like being behind. So I'm glad that it's taken care of. I'm pretty sure now I can get caught up. So I ordered two dresses. Two shirts, two pair of pants, a cardigan, apron, a scarf, and a bill, I believe. Yeah. So, week one. Week one is going to be finished tomorrow. It's been a heck of a week. It's been a heck of a week. It's been a week. It's been a week. Um, The first two tests, very easy. It's third test. Um, I need to do my homework. So I can figure out how easy it's going to be. But I think the third test is going to be easy too. But once we get into this equipment and stuff, that's where it's going to get tricky. And the third week is hell week. And surprisingly on my birthday, we have drills and we have a test. <laughs> so, but we off the next day. So after I pass my test and I pass those drills, I'm going to party. I'm going to party, okay? Because I earned it. By that time, I would have probably taken six tests. So I'm going to party like there's no tomorrow. Hey y'all, it's day seven of training. Last night I had fun. I went out on the strip or whatever, but I got a story to tell y'all. So be, be weary of people who have bad energy when you are in training. Stay by yourself, stay to yourself, and you know, be safe because some people are weird. That's just all I gotta say. Some people are weird, but me and my roommate um, at the laundromat doing laundry. Right now, it's Sunday. This is our first off day. So, we are being productive. We got up this morning. It's like 8.30 now. We're doing laundry and we're gonna study and clean up when we get back. But yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come check in and let y'all know that because you know, you come to training and you try to be cool with your um, classmates and stuff. And can't be cool with everybody. Not to say that that was me, but you know, y'all know I've been to myself, but I'm just noticing that some people are weird. You just never know what people go through when they're at home and stuff like that. So just be cautious because everybody is not your friend. Everybody is not somebody that you should, you know, hang with, observe people, and, you know, use your best judgment. We're grown. So, yeah. But, we're just doing laundry right now. So, I might check in with y'all later because I definitely have to study for test three. I don't know why I got this. Just I'm saying all this. Yeah. But, we about to go back and study for test three. And this is where stuff is starting to get hard. So, yeah, yeah, I might not be on the camera a lot, but y'all know I've been checking in. So this is the end of week one of training. Hey y'all, it is week two of training. I'm not even gonna lie, it's Thursday. <laughs> and I haven't recorded not one video this week. We took our first flights yesterday. I went to San Diego, it was so cool. Meeting the flight attendants on um, my two flights, because I had two different crews, were so cool. They gave us some insight. They let us walk around the plane, touch stuff, find where equipment was. So being able to see the things in person that I've been learning about is really helping me. Uh, but yeah, y'all, y'all know I really can't record in training. So I just been trying to give y'all a little stuff about what, what I'm going through. So far, I've been to two places that I haven't visited before now. Vegas, this is my first time in Vegas and I get to spend five weeks here. That's, that's crazy. And then I went to San Diego yesterday. It wasn't a bad flight at all, y'all. It was like 43 minutes a piece for each flight. And then my crew was pretty good that I had to do my flights with like my classmates. I really liked them. So yeah, y'all, I just wanted to come update y'all. I'm sitting here eating, 
chicken and waffles from this place called Lolo's. Y'all, I've been there twice and the hood is busting. So if y'all are ever in Vegas, definitely go to Lolo's. If you're from Atlanta, it kind of reminds me of BQE. I'm just sitting here eating, waiting for housekeeping to finish cleaning up my room. So I can go back and chill for a little bit and then get my study on because if you, believe it or not, this is the first test that I'm actually nervous about. Um, so I'll have to update y'all on what I actually make on the test. But yeah. When they say this is one of the hardest things you're gonna do, this is one of the hardest things you're gonna do. And it's because it's not only physically tiring because I'm coming from the East Coast, and it's also mentally tiring because we're literally taking tests and learning stuff on the same days. So it's like, I have a lot of information up here that I'm trying to sort out for these tests and stuff like that. So I don't get mixed up. We're testing, learning drills, and learning at the same time it's a lot when you think about it it's a lot and we have class six days a week six days a week seven it's supposed to be seven to four but most of these times it's have been seven to five seven to five forty five stuff like that so you really have to have your health together because some people in my class have been getting sick so i've been wearing my mask because i'm not trying to get sick um Say. One of my classmates left because he got COVID, so he has to quarantine for five days. At this point, I think it's been like four, so he's probably about to go home. And when you get sick, you have to self release yourself. Like, and it just depends. Sometimes they'll put you in the next class, sometimes they'll make you wait the three months, and you have to start all the way over. So, um, you definitely have to take your vitamins, take your medicine, wear your mask, especially because it's cold and it's flu season so keep yourself healthy because once you're tired your body is easily affected like that but yeah yeah i just wanted to come check in with y'all and let y'all know what was going on yeah so i'll let y'all know if i pass my test tomorrow i haven't used any of my retakes so i have a retake to use but i don't want to use it right now I don't want to use them at all. I just want to pass everything on the first try. But if push comes to shove and I have to use a retake, I have one to use and I know I'll pass it the second time around. But we just gonna cross our fingers that your girl passes fourth test. This is test number four. But I'll call y'all back. Okay, y'all. It's like hella days later. But I done messed around and got sick. So I'm in the spa at the hotel and it's really really nice in here i'm about to show y'all Hey y'all, long time no speak. I am doing horrible at these training vlogs. But y'all, the last week was crazy. Like, literally crazy. The last time I picked up the vlog, I think I ended up getting sick for like maybe four days. It was so bad. Like, I literally didn't do anything but sleep. So, in between classes, I was sleep and i was trying to make sure i was still passing my test and everything like that um i think the last time i told y'all i was studying for a test i ended up failing that test y'all i missed five questions and i know it was because i was sick like y'all my mind was just so foggy and i could not remember the information but I ended up having to take a retake. And when I made a re took the retake, and when I took the retake, y'all, I got 100. I knew that information. I just didn't feel good. And my mind was just all over the place. And I was pissed at myself because we had tests Sunday, then we had another test on Monday. So the one on Sunday, I ended up making an 80, like an 88 or something like that. And you have to have a 90 or above. Piss me off. So, I retook that test, made 100, and I had another test the next day. 
So the next day, I took that test and I made a 97.5, something like that. I think I missed one question. So I did use a retake, no shame in my game. That's what the retakes are there for. We got three of them, I used one, and I haven't used one since then. But we had another test on Friday. Y'all, when I walked out of the exam room, I just knew I was using my second retake. <laughs> I just knew I was gonna use my second retake. I don't know why I did not feel comfortable. I didn't feel like I knew that information, but I made another 97.5. So that means I missed one question. And the question that I missed was one that I thought I knew the answer to, but I didn't read. I didn't read and I got that question wrong. So really I was supposed to make 100, but nevertheless, I passed that test. And that's all that matters at this point. I just need to pass. It's 10 days left. It is currently the day after Christmas. Um, happy belated Christmas. <laughs> happy belated Christmas. Um, I didn't even come on here and talk to y'all on my birthday or anything. My birthday was last Wednesday on the 21st. So I'm officially 31. I spent my birthday in Vegas. My classmates turned me up for my birthday and I really appreciate every last one of them. I really enjoyed my birthday. It was very non-traditional for me because y'all know I've spent my birthday with my family, but I had a ball. Uh, I'm just in here studying my information um, that I need for tomorrow because your girl is at the end and I'm not about to mess up right now. So I'm about to get my study on. I just wanted to come in here and give y'all a recap of what's been going on these last week. Because I haven't talked to y'all in a week. But yeah, I got very sick. I got very sick. And then I coughed so hard that I pulled something in my back the other day. It was crazy. But yeah, I'm about to... Um... Hi, good morning. I'm about to finish studying. So... Chill. It's like 8 o'clock in the morning now. I started studying at like 7 30. But let me get my study on, and then whenever I pick the camera up, I pick the camera up because, y'all, this is a stressful situation, and it's just a lot of on the go things happening and a lot of stuff that I can't talk about but if you are planning on being a flight attendant just know you are a safety professional literally training you to be a safety professional it's not all about catching flights it's not all about you just traveling for a living you are literally in charge of people's lives so you need to take this serious this is not just a leisurely job it's very hard a lot of information so don't think that you're just going to be in it for the benefits because that's literally the last thing that's that's the last thing that you need to be worried about honestly come here be serious keep your head on straight and then do the fun things because this process is hard it's mentally taxing it's physically taxing on the body you really have to be a strong-minded person to do this job. So don't take it lightly when you get your opportunity. Be for real about it, you know. Take your time to study. Form your study groups with your friends. If you like to study by yourself, do that. You know, it's time to party and it's a time to play and it's a time to be serious. And during these 30 days or however long you're in training, because my company is four weeks technically it was five because we had like the holidays mixed in and some people are six to seven weeks use that time to really buckle down and do what you got to do so you can get your flight benefits and you can enjoy the actual fun of the job but just know you're training to be a safety professional and this is not easy everybody think being a flight attendant is the easiest job i didn't know how much was entailed into this job until i got in and it's a lot it's a lot so if you're not prepared for that it might be a shocker to you but when i tell y'all it's worth it it's fun but you are in charge of other people's lives so take that into account but y'all i'm about to get my study on my study on so i can pass my drills and my tests and i can get my wings next week okay 
So I'll talk to you guys later. I'll check in. This is week four. This is week four, week four, week four. We made it to week four, y'all. I have lost a lot of classmates lately. This last week, I lost three of my faves. Three of my faves. And it's getting hard. It's getting hard to like lose people that, that you're building a bond with. Because you all want to make it to the end. So when you see people losing their spot because of failed tests or um, because they're not passing the drills or something like that, and it's like, damn, I just knew you was gonna be at the end, you know? So it's kind of hard when you build a buns like that because you gotta think we're spending dang on near 24 seven with each other for five weeks. So, you know, it gets kind of hard, but I pray. And home go home, I pray that the rest of my um, homegirls and some of my homies don't go home either. But, you know, I'm only responsible for myself and my own knowledge and my own path. So, I'm going to make sure that I am in that finish line and I get my wings. Period. So, once graduation comes and I have my wings, I told y'all I was going to make it there because I'm not taking this lightly. But, I'll call y'all back. I have the update. I'll be sure to come update y'all on my drills tomorrow because we have like four. <laughs> we have like four, and it's a lot of information to retain. But you know, I'm just I'm gonna breathe, take my time, and do what I gotta do. Bye. Okay, y'all. So I passed my first drill. I told y'all yesterday that I was studying for. I got me a matcha green latte with two scoops of matcha and two parts of vanilla but i passed my uh first drill emergency equipment on the first round don't play with your girl don't play with your girl and then we get to chill until 12 o'clock because then we got to do the next drill at the training center so yeah i got it out of the way i'm waiting on my homegirls to finish this because i jumped in line early because i was not playing okay i was not about to play with them but yeah I passed my first drill today, y'all. Ready for the second. I passed my final today. I passed my final today. I passed my final today. Literally, everybody in my class that was left passed their final today. Like, my entire class is about to graduate tomorrow. I'm so ecstatic. I'm so excited. So, all the stress was worth it. It's been a long 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 process and i got through it my, my crew me bria jazz jasmine kiki ashley my little sleeping beauty <laughs> without my homegirls i don't think i would have made it this far y'all no cap zay ty my whole little crew i needed them like y'all don't understand you will come to training and find lifelong friends and you think like after five weeks yes you spend six out of seven days with these people yeah i just wanted to come tell y'all i passed my final today i passed out my drills and tomorrow i get my wings i get my wings tomorrow so i'm so excited y'all to get my wings but right now it's 9 17 9 17 i have to be in class at nine o'clock i have to wake up early because i get to wear my uniform to graduation tomorrow i'm so excited i want to show y'all but i don't want social media to mess up my job so i gotta figure out how to make this work i know i didn't show too much information but that's because it's it says uh, sensitive security information. So, there wasn't a lot that I can post. But I just wanted to come update y'all and let y'all know. YouTube about to go up, baby. Flight attendant vlogs about to go up. Your girl is flight attendant, baby. Yes. So, I will hit y'all up tomorrow. I may put my girls on the vlog tomorrow. I know it just been me. And I be talking about people that y'all never see. But... 
yeah y'all we pass our final and we get our wings tomorrow so i'll see you guys tomorrow y'all i graduate today and i'm so excited because these past five weeks have been something else like i've never experienced something like this in my life and it's really 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 an accomplishment i can't even explain to y'all the things that i've had to do for an example i had to jump in a pool that was 13 feet y'all know i can't swim i can't swim and i had to jump in a pool that had 13 feet water in there I tested myself to my limits this month, and I swear to God, I earned every wing that's about to get pinned on me today. For real. So, I'm excited. I really am. I earned this. And them flight benefits been to rock. Okay? I'm about to be everywhere. Yeah, I've been waiting to be able to clear this mirror. Ain't no more final, ain't no more graduation, period. Period, ooh, and my pajamas cute. <laughs>